folks welcome back to the horde it's about 20 after 3 the 3rd of december monday about 55 degrees outside beautiful out here just absolutely beautiful take this any day so what have i been up to today i finally were coming into the um final things with the shed you can see got a uh, Got doors for uh, some of you cheap guys out there. You know, sometimes you got to make use of what you got, right? I didn't want to buy another sheet of Texture 111 because they're about 20 bucks, 22 bucks I think actually, and by the time you put tax on it, 25 bucks. So, you know. We got a few seams, a few patches, so we're going to be working around them. Shelves are in. You can see the shelves. You can see some of the stuff from the uh, garage or the driveway moving up here. You can see the the 200S. You can see there's plenty of space under the handlebars. Just quickly. Just uh, back up a little bit more so you can kind of see more of the whole thing. I don't want to trip, I got crap all over the place out here. I don't want to fall on my butt. It'd be amusing for you guys to watch. Not enjoyable for me. See, there you go. I don't know if you can see the shelf. Yeah, you can kind of see the shelf in there. And once again, you could see the doors, you could see the patches. So, that was one item that was done. Um, do you remember the tarp on the hoop trailer there? Well, that was replaced today. That was all ripped up, if you guys recall. So, that's been replaced. There you go. Um, supposedly, this is the long lived one. It's a uh, Harbor Freight special, and I don't know if you can see from here, the top strip of roofing is brand new. So patch that roof or replace the top strip that went bad. And then, once again, you cheap guys would be proud of me. Um, went to the leftover roll roofing um, from over here. Let me lower this. So I went through the leftover roll roofing and I managed to put two strips. Can you see them there? See the color difference? Two strips across the top. You can see the seal. So on um, this side, though it's pretty ragged, it's not shot yet. Well, not completely shot. So I got that patched up. And over here, you guys are going to laugh at this one. Had a hole in the shingle, so I uh, cut it out and uh, slipped one behind it and uh, nailed it down. How's that for cheap? I know. Hey, once again, patched it all up. This is the stuff that sealed. You can see it's hard for me oops where's my finger there you go see it's hard to lift up this stuff sticks down so and it's nailed so anyway patching patching up roofs today working on the shed and moving some crap around um you guys have already seen the inside of that mess and at some point, you guys saw the inside of this mess, though it's unlocked, I'm going to show you. Myoni Non Honda. That's a Yamaha Champ. I bought it for the boys when they were young. So there she sits. The Kubota tractor. And. Big Red, that's a 200 ES, early, early 80s vintage. 
and I happened to notice that my other shed was unlocked so we might as well show you that before I lock it up Oh yeah. Before? <laughs> Before and after. <laughs> I want to see the after. <laughs> There'll never be an after. There's only forever before. So, this is the last building. A couple of those Chinese quads in there. Yellow one and red one. I think they're 110s. That Honda came with the house, MB5, running tractor, some more motors, 13 horsepower Predator in the back, spare wood on top, my pressure washer hoard, there it is, oh, and a new bike showed up today, how could I forget, I had it delivered. It's a kit bike. There she is. Uh, XR80. And it is 1983 vintage. You guys can see that. So, XR80. It's seized up from not moving, from not being used, so I gotta. Uh, Spend a little time for it. Actually, I have another motor I can throw right on it. So, all right, that's it, folks. Wasted about seven minutes of your lives. Don't forget, live, love, have a great time, and uh, tires down, handlebars up. Bye.